Father, work in power of the Holy Spirit. Father God, we love you, we praise you, we glorify you, we magnify you, we adore you, Father God. As we gather all around the world, oh God, on the sixth day of consecration, we pray now in the name of Jesus, oh God, that your divine will will be done, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, that you have went down on the inside of us, oh God, and that you uprooted and gutted out, oh God, every foul and corrupt and perverted thing, oh God, every prideful thing, oh God, everything that is not like you, we thank you, Father God, that you removed, amen, the corrupt thing from out of our life, oh God, we thank you, Father God, that you had heard, that you heard our voice, oh God, and that you began to remove it in my shire, everything, oh God, that was not of you, oh God, we thank you, Lord God, that you've given us a sound mind, oh God, we thank you, Lord God, that I'm see, but in you we live, we move, and we have our being, oh God, we thank you, Lord God. My God, for you the peace of God. You're the love of God. And we thank you today, oh God, for clothing us in your salvation and covering us in your righteousness. We thank you, Lord God, for fine-tuning us in you, oh God, giving us ears to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, that you caused an open heaven to be up over our heads, oh God. We thank you today, oh God, that the blood of Jesus is covering, oh God, from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet, oh God. We thank you for giving us clean hands and a pure heart. We thank you, Lord God, for ordering our steps in your word, oh God. We thank you today, Lord God. Oh God, we thank you, Lord God, for moving, oh God, in our lives, oh God. We thank you for drawing us like never before to your presence, oh God. For in your presence is the fullness of joy, and at your right hand is pleasure forevermore. Father, we thank you today, Lord God, that your hand is upon our life, oh God, and that you've overshadowed us with your presence, oh God. We thank you, Lord God. My God, that I must be the God of salvation, oh God. My God, you are Jehovah Jireh. My God, you're Jehovah Nisi, you're Jehovah Shalom, you're Jehovah Tiskanu, oh God, and we thank you today, Lord God, we bless you, Lord God, we thank you for my God, that I'm most allowing us, oh God, to travel on this journey, Lord God, of consecration, oh God, unto you, oh God, we thank you for sanctifying us unto you even the more, oh God, we thank you today, Lord God, my God, for taking out the stony heart and putting in a heart of flesh, oh God, that will obey you, that will honor you, Lord God, my God, we thank you today, Lord God, we praise your holy name, we worship you, we we glorify you. We magnify you. We honor you today, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. For you are high and lifted up, O oh God. And your train is filling the temple. For we are the temple of the true and living God. And so, Father, we thank you today, Lord God. We thank you for the blood, the blood of Jesus. Oh God, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. We apply the blood now, Lord God. My God, over the prayers of the minds of the people, O oh God. We apply the blood, Lord God, over the word, O oh God. We apply the blood of our ears, O oh God, that we will hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying, oh God, and that we will walk in obedience, oh God, unto you, oh God. We give you praise and honor today, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, for removing the foul thing, removing the corrupt thing, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, for that mostly removing the double-minded of Oshiah of us, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, for fresh baptism of the Holy Ghost, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, for renewing our spirit, reviving us, and restoring us. We thank you, Lord God, for putting us back on fire for you, Lord God. We thank you for total deliverance, total healing, total breakthrough, oh God. We thank you for total wholeness in you, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, for renewing us and reviving and restoring us. We thank you, Lord God. Hey, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Father God, for giving us peace that surpass all understanding. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you today, Lord God. We give you thanks today, Lord God. Thank you for everything, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for keeping us. Thank you, Lord God, for hiding us in you, God. Thank you, Lord God, for the most enjoying the impossible, God. But with you, all things are possible, Lord God. We thank you today, Lord God. My God, to set up OC for saturating us. My God, us in your presence, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, and I'm going to that the kingdom of God has come and power and authority and demonstration of your spirit. We thank you today, Lord God. That's right, we're thanking him today. We thank you today, Lord God. My God, and I both see as we have journeyed, oh God. And when this is the sixth day, oh God, we thank you, Lord God. My God, we look back over the days and we tell you, thank you, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you today, Lord God. My We thank you that your hand is upon our life today, Lord God. We thank you for overshadowing us with your presence, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, for moving in our life, oh God. We thank you there's a fresh wind blowing in our life today, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, that we're hungry and thirsting after righteousness like 
like never before, God. We thank you today, Lord God. My God, and the Messiah. Oh, God, our eyes are upon you, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God. We thank you for the Holy Spirit, oh God. We thank you for the light and the form of rain, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, and the Messiah. Yes, God is stirring in our spirit for you even the more, oh God. We thank you for putting us on fire, oh God. Being witnesses of you like never before, oh God. We thank you today, Lord God, and the Messiah. Oh, yes, God, and the see for healing us and making us whole, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, as we come in together, oh God, all around the world, oh God. We come saying, thank you, oh God. My God, that we were on your mind. We thank you, Lord God, that our names are ever before your God. We thank you, Lord. My God, our names are imprinted in your hand, oh God, in the palm of your hand. And we thank you today, Lord God. Oh God, for lifting up the bow down heads, oh God. We thank you, Lord God. Oh, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Oh God, we thank you today, Lord God. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus, for healing us and making us whole. We thank you, Jesus. Oh, for healing our spirits. We thank you, Jesus. Oh, for binding up the broken hearts. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for giving us a mind to go forth in you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. I'm almost shy. Yes, Jesus. We thank you today, Jesus. Oh, God, for renewing us today. We thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. For there is none like you in the heaven. There is none like you in the earth. There is none like you under the earth. We thank you now, my Lord. For there was no God before you, and there be no God after you. We rejoice for our names are written in the Lamb Book of Life. Oh, God, we thank you today. Yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, for performing your good work towards us, Lord God. We thank you today, Lord. For having mercy upon us, for your mercies are new every morning. Morning. We thank you, Jesus, for perfecting that which concerns us, oh God. We thank you today, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord, we thank you. Yes, 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 yes. We thank you, Lord, for covering us, oh God. We thank you for hiding us from ourselves, God. We thank you today, Lord God. Oh, yes, Lord Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord Jesus. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We come back to say thank you. We come back back to say thank you. Thank, thank you for deliverance. Thank you, Lord God. Oh, God, going down on the inside of us and removing it, oh God. Every foul and corrupt thing, oh God. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus, for taking the scales off our eyes. We thank you, Jesus. Oh, out of our belly flow rivers of living waters. We thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord, for you've done a new thing in the spring of forth now, Lord God. We thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord, for blessing the works of our hands. We thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, we give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor. Oh, yes, Lord, we lift your name up on higher. Oh, yes, Lord, that I'm Messiah. Oh, God, we thank you, Lord, for connecting us all around the world. We are family all around the world, and you are our God, and you are in the midst of us. And we thank you, Jesus, for you are our Lord, for you are our Savior. Oh, yes, Lord, you are our deliverer, and we thank you. Shanda Bahaya. Yes, Lord, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We give you high praise today. We thank you, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. There is none of the Bosaya. None other like you, Jesus. Oh, yeah, Basaya, Bahaya, Bahaya. Oh, yes, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All of the Bosaya. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you, Nabose Kababasi, to keep the court. Oh God, thank you, Jesus. Oh, yeah, Pat Shia. Oh God, we thank you for the blood. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. We thank you for the blood. The blood of Jesus. We thank you for the blood. Let the blood purge us. Let the blood purify us. Let the blood of the Osiah deliver us. We thank you for the blood. Yes, Lord Jesus. We thank you for the blood. Yes, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Ooh, for healing us. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us a sound mind. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, by Shanda of a higher. Putting us back in the right place with you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you for correcting us. We thank you today. Oh, God, we thank you. 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 Oh, God, we thank
and the Most High. Yes, Lord, we thank you. We come back to say thank you on the sixth day. On the sixth day, we come back to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. On the sixth day. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. We're satisfied with you, Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for doing it in us. Thank you for correcting us. Thank you, Lord, for having mercy on us. Thank you for transitioning and transforming us in your image and likeness. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We're satisfied with you. We thank you for the living waters. We thank you now that I'm about to see for the bread of life. We thank you. You that I'm about to see the way, the truth, and the life. We thank you. Oh, Jesus. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, we thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, we thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Ooh, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, come on and thank him. Come on and thank him. Come on and thank him, Mr. Six Day. Come on and thank him. Oh, yes, Lord. We come back to say thank you. Thank you for delivering us. Thank you for setting us free. Thank you for purging us. Thank you for the devil to come up and making a way for us. Thank you for correcting us. Yes, Lord, thank you for afflicting us. Come on, come on, thank him. Come on, thank you, Jesus. We come back to say thank you. We come back to say thank you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you for perfecting that which concerned us. Thank you, Jesus, for hearing our cry. Thank you, Jesus, for gracing us today. Thank you, Jesus, for having mercy upon us, having mercy upon our family. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, we come to thank you. We come to thank you. We come to thank you. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord, we thank you. Oh, I see, because we believe the work is done in us. We believe that by Shia, everything is a part of us. My God, we hold on to nothing. Oh, God, we release it. We let it go, God. Whatever is an enemy to you is an enemy to us, God. And we release it. And we let it go. And we say, thank you. Thank you for showing us us. Thank you for showing us where we come short. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for striving with us. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. I'm my Shia. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the Holy Ghost. Thank you for the Holy Ghost. Thank you for leading and guiding us. Thank you for directing us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You are our hope. You are our trust. You are our great and exceeding reward. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My soul says yes. My soul says yes. My soul says yes. Yes to your will and yes to your way. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, for healing my soul. Oh, God, making my soul whole. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on and thank him. Come on and thank him. Come on and thank him. Go back and tell him thank you. This is the sixth day. Oh, I see the day. My God, I never considered a man. Go back and thank him. Yes, Lord. Lord, yeah, I thank you, Lord, on my side for doing the work in me. I thank you, Lord, for removing every foul and corrupt thing, every prideful thing, every perverted thing, every wicked thing, anything that will hinder and delay. I thank you for moving it up out of me, Lord God, uprooting and gutting it out, oh God. Come on here. Ooh, I 
thank him, I thank him, I thank him, I thank him. Things that I didn't even know was in me. I thank you, Lord, for removing it. I thank you, Lord, of Oshaya that caused me to see clearer. Oh, Pastor, you come up by having true insight. It of Oshaya to hear you clearer. Oh, Pashanda to draw me close to you. Oh, Jesus, I thank you. Oh, Pastor, come up by the For the refreshing and the renewing and the reviving and the restoring and the restitution. I thank you now, Jesus. Oh, Pashikona, I must say, thank you. Ba, 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 say, ba, 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 say, ba, 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 for clothing us in salvation huh? and covering us in your righteousness. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Huh? For giving us the crown of life. Thank you, Jesus. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah,
Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. This is the sixth day, amen, of the seven days of consecration. And again, I thank everybody from all around the world. We are family and how we have connected, amen, to join in together, amen, to be helpers of one another, to encourage one another, amen, to stay upon this journey that God has called us to, to draw closer to him, to afflict our own self and said, you know what? I cannot miss God going out of 2017 and going through 2018. And I want to make sure, glory to God, that I am close to God like God want me to be close to him. Hallelujah. And so we thank God on the sixth day. We go back to tell him thank you for the work that he has done through us, the work that he has done in us. I am so grateful. I am honored and I am humbled. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That God has chosen us. Amen. To go through the seven days of consecration. I truly believe that it was worth it. I said I truly believe that it was worth it. Amen. Keeping us on that straight and narrow path. Amen. That is set before us. Amen. Glory to God. For many Many shall not find that straight and narrow path, says the scripture. Many shall not find that path. But amen, we thank God for allowing us and taking us to that path. And now that we are on that path, amen, glory to God. We are grateful and we want to stay focused. And we want to do what God has called us to do. We don't want to be anxious for nothing. We don't want to get in a hurry. And surely, we don't want to be slowful. Amen. Glory to God. We want to be in the timing and the rhythm of God. Amen. Because our God that we serve, he is a timing and a rhythmist God. Yes, he is. And so we thank God. Amen. So today is the sixth day. And praise the Lord to everybody. You know we send kisses, hug, and love all around the world. Amen. Glory to God. But on the sixth day, the Lord says it like this. As soon as you see it, my God, as soon as you see it, as soon as you see it, come on, write that down. As soon as you see it, come on, come on. Don't lose your breakthrough. Don't lose your deliverance. Don't lose what God has done through you and with you. Glory to God. As soon as you see it, come on, write that down, and then I'll move forward. As soon as you see it, this is the sixth day, amen, of the seven days of consecration. As soon as you see it, God is going to go somewhere with us on today. There it is. There's one. As soon as, you, there's another one. As soon as you see it, there's another one. That's it. Come on. As soon as you see it. As soon as you see it. There it is. There it is. As soon as you see it. I need to know if we all on the same page. There it is. As soon as you see it. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Yes. There you go. As soon as you see it. Yes. As soon as you see it. There it is. Yes. Hippo. Shopo. Shaba. Yeba. Soba. Say. Oh, yes, Lord. Yeba. Say. As soon as you see it. There it is. 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 We're all on the same page, everybody. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, as soon as you see it, there it is. There it is. Thank you, Lord. As soon as you see it, as I see it, as you see it, however you want to put it, amen, it's all right with me. As long as you're writing it down, as soon as you see it, amen. Amen. And somebody should be getting happy right there. Somebody should be praising the Lord because surely it's talking about insight. Amen. It's talking about insight. A lot of times, glory to God, we can't see. And the reason being we can't see because we're seeing everything else in the carnal realm. And when you see things in the carnal realm, then your thought pattern connects to the carnal realm. And when our thought pattern connects with the carnal realm, glory to God, then we say we can't understand what God is saying. And for that reason, you can't understand because you don't see. You can't see what God is saying. You're blind. And I know you can see, amen, the sky and you can see the cars and you can see the houses, but you're blind in the rim of the spirit. And if you're blind in the rim of the spirit, then you're blind, amen. Because why? Watch this. 
Glory to God. Let me go ahead and turn that off right quick. Watch this as we get ready to go into the teaching or the encouragement on this morning. Do you not remember that when God created Adam, and when God created Eve, pull, uh, or, or, yeah, and pulled Eve from Adam, y'all know that story. Well, the first part of their eyes that was opened was the insight, their spiritual eyes. Mm -hmm. When they came and, and, and disobeyed, it wasn't literally like they went to a tree and they pulled an apple off. Are you hearing me? Glory to God. The Lord was letting us know that when I tell you not to do or to do, watch this, we must obey. Why? Because if we do the opposite of what the Lord has told us to do, the first thing you lose is your eyesight. Come on. I needed a greeter Come right on. there. I said, the first thing you lose is your eyesight to see. And just because you're seeing in the natural does not, yes, Lord, I hear you, Holy Ghost, does not mean that you're making waves or you're making progression. Are you hearing me? Because our life is not the, our life is not a man given to us by the way of the carnal realm. Our life is given to us by the way of the realm of the spirit, which is invisible. So Adam's eyes was open to the rim of the spirit. That's why when it was time for Adam, amen, to meet God in the specific place so they can have communion or fellowship one with another, he was not in that place because his eyes, glory to God, began to become blind and he began to see in the natural. He was already naked. He was already weak. Are you understanding? Yeah, yeah. He already <laughs> didn't have the, the tools or the things, amen, glory to God in the natural but when your eyes begin to open and you all can detest it is because I ain't got this I can't do this that's because you're looking in the natural realm and you can't see in the realm of the spirit is anybody listening yes. or did everybody go home and so the first thing that Adam and Eve lost was the insight they lost their sight to see in the realm of the spirit so when the Lord is telling us on the sixth day as soon as you see it you have to understand you got you must thank God when God opens up your eyes come here Saul who my God from Zion Glory to God, the Saul that was, amen, killing the Christians. And God, amen, yeah. changed his name from Saul to Paul. He was converted. He was transformed. He was transitioned. And the first thing that you see, amen, in the book of Acts, glory to God, of course, he was on the road of Damascus. And there, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, met him there. Glory to God. The Bible said the light shined so bright, which was the glory of God. And when it was the glory of God, it knocked him off. It knocked him off of his high horse. Come on, you. Come on, somebody. It'll Come knock you. First thing happen, you get knocked off your high yeah, horse yeah. because we are nothing. Glory to God. Not just in the presence of God are we nothing. We are nothing, period. Is anybody listening? Because we're so, amen, in tune to say, I'm nothing before you. No, we're nothing before him and we're nothing, amen, when we're not in his presence. And we know we're always in the presence of the Lord. Yeah. Are you hearing me? So the first thing happened to, amen, Saul, who name was turned to Paul, amen, he got knocked off of the horse because he was high-minded. Come on here. Oh, he mother. thought he was doing right by killing the Christians. Are you hearing yes, me? But he yes. was coming up against the Lord Jesus Christ because the Lord Jesus Christ said to him, why are you kicking against the pricks? Why are you kicking against what I have come to come do? Down. Why are you kicking against, glory to God, me coming to save people and bring them out oh, of darkness? Yeah. Is anybody listening? And then here it is, Saul, which name was turned to Paul said when did I do that Come on, somebody. And that's that's what we say. I'm going somewhere. Glory to God. This is all appetizer and entry into the way of what God is getting ready to bring us into the meat of it. Glory to God. He said, when did I do that? When? When did I do that? When did I, amen, amen, kick against what you were doing? Come on here. Glory to God. But when you don't have insight, then you can't understand and you don't know when you are kicking against, amen, the will of God. You don't know. When you are kicking against the things of God or the people of God. Why? Because you have lost your sight in the rim of the spirit. And when you have lost your sight in the rim of the spirit, you lost your understanding about God. So when Saul, which name was turned to Paul, he fell off the horse. Glory to God. The first, the second thing that happened after he fell off the horse, he became blind. Come on, Come on now. 
he became blind. And that's the problem. You can literally hear the way people talk. If they are talking from the rim of the spirit or if they're talking from the things of God, then you know their eyesight or insight is still open. Oh, but when no. they start talking carnal and talking about I, 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 and I, and I, you know, all this negativity, then you know that their spiritual eyes are closed and that they are talking from a natural carnal rim. Is anybody yeah. listening? Yeah. And when people start talking from a natural carnal rim, there is nothing that you can say, amen, say anything from the rim of the spirit. Glory to God. Halabosi for them to understand because they won't. Why? Because their yeah. spiritual eyes have been closed. And we to ask God to give us the insight of what of understanding right. and so Saul which name was turned to Paul glory to God the, the second thing after the fall from him he he lost his eyesight yes are you hearing me? Yes. And so the Lord had to begin to first thing God deals with us about. Amen. He has to open up our eyes to a rim or to a place that is eternal that we don't know nothing about. And so when God opens up our eyes, amen, to a place that is eternal, glory to God, then our eyes is supposed to be shut to the natural rim. In other words, the understanding of what the natural realm is trying to bring to our life. Is anybody listening yeah, or did everybody go yeah, home? Yeah. Because why? Glory to God. I don't understand. I don't understand. That's because you can't see. Yeah. When you say, I don't understand, I don't understand, that is because you cannot see in the realm of the spirit. Because understanding and seeing in the realm of the spirit are as one. Okay. And when you say, I don't understand, I don't understand why I can't do this. I don't understand why I can't go there. I don't understand why I got to walk away from this. I don't understand. That is because you know you cannot see in the rim of the spirit. And for that reason, you don't have understanding about the things of God. Is anybody listening? Yeah. In the book, glory to God, of the double shy, shy, the Bible said in the book of the New Testament, it said, I want to, amen, teach you spiritual things. But because you are not ready, your eyes are not open to that place, I cannot teach teach you spiritual things because if I teach you spiritual things you wouldn't believe it because you can't see it and if you can't see it you can't understand it nobody is saying nothing to me glory to God and so that's why we have to constantly keep telling you don't touch that yeah. don't go there don't do that don't think like that are you hearing me yeah. why because you constantly are looking and understanding from the rim of the carnal realm Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. So when the Lord is telling us to say on the sixth day of the seven days of consecration, as soon as you see it, yes. it, is, it is vital to your life. Because understand, when you start seeing through the eyes of God, eyes of understanding, glory to God, watch this, your life prosper. Come on, mama. Watch this. You tell other people, I don't care what you say. This is what I'm going to do. Amen. The problem with us, amen, the children of God, we always got to understand everything yeah. before we do everything. We always got to say, okay, give me some understanding of why I got to do it like that. I ain't never heard of nothing like this before in my life. Well, where it's coming from is not from a place that you have ever lived before anyway. So what you tripping about? What you talking about? Because you said you wanted something different. You said you wanted better. Come on somebody right, and so right. in order to get better and something different glory to God that's gonna cause our life to progress and prosper come on here somebody your natural eyes have to be closed yes boo you're gonna have to be able to see to drive but get what I'm saying and see when you start talking all like that then your eyes ain't open and so I'm see I don't want to be no, I gotta no. I gotta act right on the sixth day <laughs> I gotta act right on the sixth day because I'm not going to waste amen my breath time trying to make you to understand what you won't understand because yes. your eyes are not open yes. yes because you want it to be amen into the understanding understanding rim of the corner rim so you can feel good about what you're doing yeah. so you can be in control of what you're doing yes. because as long as you feel in control you'll be you all, right. all right but when mm -hmm. it feels like we are out of control we have have nothing to do with it then it feels like I'm just out there no what the problem is we're trying to be in control we're trying to amen to be the navigator and we're not the navigator yes. nobody is saying nothing yes. glory to God and I both said come about say yes. if the Lord said look unto the hills from which come your help all your help coming from the Lord then you must look to the Lord and you must trust the Lord and you must wait on the Lord amen to 
do whatever it is he needs to do. You need not to be like Sarah and get impatient and tell myself, come on, hey, God, we're going to help God out. Why? Mm -hmm. Because you can't see in the realm of the spirit. Yeah. You got to be, amen, I'm confident, and you have to trust God. Is anybody listening? Did yes. everybody go home? Yes. Uh -huh. Don't come tell me about your prophetic self. I don't care about that <laughs> because you can prophesy and still can't see in the realm of the spirit. Now. I'm getting ready uh -oh. to run right here. Uh -oh. Y'all go me. Uh oh. Now you know, don't come, don't come, don't come for me, and I won't come for you. Because y'all know I'm telling the truth. Because gifts and callings comes without what? Repentance. It's not coming with uh, everybody can see, have insight in the realm of the spirit. That's why demons can prophesy. Y'all ain't saying nothing. That's why witches can prophesy. Come on. Warlocks can prophesy. Y'all not saying nothing. So all that stuff, it doesn't move me. Let me see. You shall know them by the what? By, by their love. You shall know them. Glory to God. And then the insight. Come on here. I ain't saying nothing. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> See, that, that, yeah, we get we get all jumpy. Hi, yeah, yeah. Oh, you can drop this hat. Don't mean they can oh, see in the spirit. That's it, that's it. Don't mean they can see in the spirit. Don't mean they have insight. Come on, that's they it. have no understanding. Amen. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Glory to God. Because we need to understand. So well, I'm witnessing. Well, yeah, you witnessing, but you can't, you don't have no understanding. You can't see. That's it. You witnessing about, amen, what you read in the word, but you don't have no insight of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And so for that reason, I'm not all caught up with, yes, I can prophesy, but I need to prophesy from the rim. Yes. I need to prophesy on, from God. the mind. Are you here? The mind of God. Are you here? Me? Yes. Come on, somebody. This goes back to one, day one. When God was talking, he informs us. He talks about, amen, he tells us, amen, from day one and day two, he talks about how he wants to bring us in. He invited us in. Are you hearing me? And when he invited us in, come on, John the Revelator, come up hither. I'm going to show you something. And what I'm about to show you, amen, from the rim of the spirit, glory to God, or from heaven, I'm going to give you insight. And this is something you cannot see in a natural realm. Him, and you won't be able to understand it. Is anybody listening or did everybody go home? My God from Zion. And so for that reason, glory to God, pro a prophecy is good, but give me somebody that got some insight. It, give me somebody it. that can see and understand what they are saying. Are you hearing me? Yes. Because they're not speaking a man from a carnal realm and watch this, and they're not speaking from a divination realm. Y'all not saying nothing. Come oh, on God. here, somebody. And anything that you won't so bad more than God the enemy can pick that up and then begin to speak it and then you shouting and falling all over the place come on here somebody yeah, but on when now. there is someone that can see have insight amen up to the, 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 the mind and the thought of God those amen type of people they're not going to always tell you about cars and house they get ready now. to tell you I, and people don't like the way I prophesy but that's their business because come this is now. the way the Lord has given me he sometimes will take me into their their past glory to God he and to shut doors glory to God and people have a problem because they don't understand you and they speak against it. stuff that they don't understand but there are some people that don't understand that their life, why is this still happening in my life? Because right. there are doors that are open from the past, from the past life of you, from the past life of your forefathers, your mother, your father, big mama, big daddy, y'all getting this. You and when people don't here. understand that because they don't have no insight, mm -hmm. they talk about that. Is anybody yeah. listening? Did everybody yeah. go home? And so when the Lord takes me and take me in, I'm going back in your life. I'm going to shut a door. I'm going to get something that you should have had that now God going to bring it, amen, to the present. And then he can take me to the future and bring your future to your Y'all not saying nothing. Y'all not saying nothing. See, we so we so carnal, it's ridiculous. And to those, amen, that has spiritual insight and spiritual understanding and want God to expand them, we got a problem with them. Are you understanding that? Well, I ain't never seen that or heard that before in my life. Well, you can't kick against the prick, Saul, because it has not been done through you. Are you hearing me? You have not yielded yourself to God like that. Are you hearing me? But it does not mean it does that's not it, happen. It, Are you hearing me? Because we sit here and we talking about y'all calling out names and social security. Come on here and I'm calling out addresses. Awesome. All right, y'all saying that because everybody know their address and everybody know their social security. Okay, so then why are we tripping that we're going back into, amen, into the past life of you and to shut every door because why it's spiritual that's it 
That's it's it. spiritual. It's spiritual. Ahead, Come ahead, on here. Ahead. Come on. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Y'all ain't ahead. saying nothing. Ahead, Glory to Kibo Shatado Bohai. And we have something to say. Glory to God. Yeah. Because we are not in that I place with little God. Little We're little not little in little the mind shit. of God. Yeah. Come on here, somebody. Glory to God. I love Oshaya. But that will not stop me because you don't understand me. That will not stop me because you're standing up there talking about myself. I'm not going to do all that. I'm not going to go back in your past. Well, you don't have that faith to do it. You don't have the insight to do it. Come on. Because if you tap into that rim and you have not been fortified by God, come on. The demonic spirits, come on here, that's in that past that is that is flowing, that is coming through. The lineage. Y'all not saying you nothing. Say that's it. coming through the lineage okay. will destroy you. Come on. Here. Just like you going into the rim. You going into the rim. You going in. You are going in. That's going ahead. Well, what you think is ahead as well. The demonic spirits there as well. And if you ain't been fortified to go in or either travel into a to the past life of somebody to shut that door and to cause that cancer where it started. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Glory to God to stop, amen, to cease and to go away. Is anybody listening yes, to me? Yes, yes. You weren't there. You weren't there. When you don't understand and you don't have insight, glory to God, we talk, oh, 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 we talk oh, oh, oh. foolishness, and now we in trouble. But are you hearing me? And if your faith, and if you don't want God to use you like that, then guess what? Let God use you to let God use you, Amen. At the level that you will have Him to use you. But I'm telling you, there's somebody on here right now. I'm going back into your history. Rest I'm going old. back into your life, glory to God. And where the enemy, and where that demon. And what that witch had set up for you to fail. And what that witch set up for you to die. And what that witch, amen, called your children not to live, not to make it. I come to shut the door. I come to kabose. Is anybody listening? Or did everybody go home? Okay, they want me to make it play. Okay, I'll bring it to their carnal mind. You just went through the door. You came into your house. You came through the door. Coming in your house, right? So when you come through the door door coming in your house then the door that you just came in is what now behind you and if you did not shut it you came through the door but the door didn't shut all the way there was a crack is anybody listening that means that door is still open and it's open behind you and then you're saying where is that air coming from where is that you know whatever that is not right coming from and then you walk right past the door and say oh my god it's coming from that door i thought i shut that, that door and then you went back and you what shut that door so don't play with me come on don't play with me Come on, because it's what? Yes, it's first natural, then spiritual. Don't play with me. There's some doors we walk through, glory to God. And because God delivered us and healed us, don't mean some doors have been shut. And so God will use, amen, his vessels, glory to God, that he has fortified. And then he's anointed. And then he's given, glory to God, that insight to, to go back into your past, into that rim of that spirit and shut that door. Is anybody listening? Come on here, somebody. Glory to God. I had okay. somebody to say that. Amen. In the midst of a time, I'm not going back into your past. You must don't have the insight. And maybe God didn't tell you to do it. But don't knock what God has told somebody else to do. Don't knock what God has put into somebody else to walk in the rim of the spirit and get the job done for other people. Nobody is saying none to a sister. Amen, somebody. Glory to the double sire. Yeah, da 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 Yes, God, I thank you, Lord. Glory to God. So for that reason, when God is saying, as soon as you see it, as soon as you have insight, and because insight, amen, connects with understanding of the rim of the spirit. He told John the Revelator to come up hither and I'm going to show you. And the Bible said in the book of Revelation, he said, as soon as the door opened and he heard the, <clears throat> excuse me, and he heard the voice, amen, coming, glory to God, he was quickly in the rim of the spirit. Is anybody listening? Did everybody go home? He was not in his flesh. And that's the problem. It takes us forever to get out of the flesh. Yeah. We need 20 songs to get us out of the flesh and get us into the spirit of God. When it shouldn't take no 20 songs. Are you hearing me? As soon as you lift your hands, glory to God, and say, God, forgive me. God, have mercy. God, deliver me. Lord, and then begin to talk about God. All of a sudden, your spirit is there. 
Those are people that spend time with God. Those are people that spend time with God. Yeah, those people that spend time with God, glory to God, before they can really get done asking God to forgive them and have mercy on them, poof, their spirit is already in the presence of the Lord. That's people that spend time with God, glory to God. But we got to sing 20 songs, amen, and, and then start ministering and preaching to mean faces. You ain't even in the spirit because you got a mean face. Come on here. Y'all not saying nothing. Look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, glory to God, because why? how can she say that? Because the Bible makes it plain that Jesus, when he took, amen, and even Moses, when he took, amen, a three disciples, amen, to the Mount Transfiguration and his face changed, it transformed. How are you in the presence of the Lord and you still looking mean? That's, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Are y'all hearing me? So don't knock people, amen, that God is using, that they have opened up themselves to the Lord in a, amen, in a capacity of that nature. Are you hearing me? Because there's a lot of things, amen, in your past life, in your past history, in your family life, the doors are still open. And because the doors are still open and you still have demonic activity coming into your life. Y'all not saying nothing to me. Glory to God. It's called cycles. It's called glory to God that when you think you delivered from it and you walk or you walk so far, all of a sudden you back in it. <clears throat> that is called cycles. That is because there's something. <clears throat> there is something. Devil, you a lie. There is something that's in the past that is not shut and demonic activities from your past life from your mama past life your daddy past life your marriage past life. Are you hearing me? So a door has been opened that was never shut. Is anybody listening? Then everybody go home. And so I say to you, glory to God, that walks in that type of, amen, rim with God. Don't let nobody shut you down. Everybody's not going to be doing it. I'm sorry, because everybody's not going to yield themselves to God in that aspect, because they will not have the insight in that aspect. And when you don't have the insight in that aspect, they will not have the understanding. Please do not allow, amen, people to shut y'all down. I don't, know. I don't know nothing about that. I ain't never seen Come that on. before in my life. Are you hearing me? Come on here. Glory to God. And I'm going to say, when God says, watch this, when God says, and I got to go to the word, when God says, I'm going to do something with you that I've never done with somebody else, what you think he's talking about? He sure ain't talking about a car in the house. Are you hearing me? He can give you a house, amen, that your family never had, but you're going to enjoy that better than, more than you will enjoy God doing something in the rim of the spirit that never has been. Ooh, I choose the rim of the spirit. Are y'all understand? I'm coming to encourage you. This is the sixth day. This is the sixth day. And you're about to see some things. But it, it will come only by the way of the rim of the spirit and to those that will understand. Glory to God. You're looking at stuff and you're trying to critique. You don't critique God. How are you sitting in the midst of the pews critiquing God? That doesn't make any sense. And the Bible said, here it is, Mary and Elizabeth. Glory to God. Your baby is to leap. Your baby is to leap. Are you hearing me? They did not have a conversation. And Mary said, girl, I'm pregnant. And, you know, she knew, Mary knew Elizabeth was pregnant. But Elizabeth did not know Mary was pregnant. But yet and still, the baby leaped. And Elizabeth started prophesying to Mary. Glory to God. Uh, uh, oh, my God. Glory to God about what was in her belly. They hadn't talked yet. Y'all not saying nothing. We doing too much critique because we don't even understand. understand. You better say it. And when you don't understand, you don't see in that realm. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Glory to God. <laughs> and people will shut you down. And just because you walking in, amen, that dimension with God, amen, in that insight and understanding with God, and because other people around you are not, and they're calling you, amen, weird. No, they're weird. Amen. Because their eyes are closed, amen, to the rim of the spirit. And when their eyes are closed, their eyes of understanding are closed. Are you hearing me? So you got to understand the first thing Adam lost was his eyesight into the rim of the spirit glory to God because when he looked he had already been naked and then he wanted to grab something to cover himself up is anybody listening or did everybody go home you got to understand when God called us he called us when we was in a mess 
Are you hearing me? And as long as we keep our eyes, I just heard a ringing in my ear. There's a ringing going on in heaven. Is anybody listening? Because this is the sixth day. And the Lord said, as soon as you see it, as soon as you see it, as soon as you see it, my God from Zion, you don't want to be glory to God like the prophets of this earth. They ain't seeing nothing. I am seeing. You ain't going to tell me I ain't seeing. See, they don't even understand what you're talking about. Because they seeing what demons see. They seeing what divination and all that. Come on now. They're not seeing and they can't see because the Bible makes it plain and acts that it was Jesus. It was the Lord, our Savior, that opened up the eyes of Paul. So devils can't open up your eyes to the rim of the spirit. Oh, God, I love you. They cannot open up their, your eyes to the rim of God. Are y'all hearing me? Demons and Satan and the devil cannot open up your eyes to the rim where God, amen, resides at. Y'all not saying nothing. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Yeah, I got somebody say, come on. I got somebody say, yes, y'all is saying something. Amen. <laughs> y'all is saying something. Come on, somebody. When, when, when people, and I got to go, when people prophesy to me, as they prophesy, and I'm talking to God, I'll be saying, now, God, now take them deeper. Take them deeper. And when I say take them deeper, take them into the mind of you about me. You better and when they and when God allowed them to go deeper into his mind, 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 understanding, mind, mind, thoughts. Are y'all getting this? You can't prophesy from the mind of God and you don't understand. Your eyes have to be open to that realm. So while people are prophesying to me, you can see me have my hands up and you can see, but baby, when they hit something, I do like that because they just hit something you in the realm of the spirit. Say it. No one's going to sit here, amen, just because you haven't yielded yourself to that place that God called you to in the rim of the spirit that you can see in the rim of the spirit. Come on, you're not going to cause me to shut down and sit down because you don't want that because your eyes is closed, not mine. What you say, say that again. That's why you could praise God because this is what the sixth day of what? The seven days of consecration. And yeah. that's why God said, come back and tell me thank you because I'm getting ready to cause y'all to see. And if you can see in the rim of the spirit, in the mind of God, then you're going to have to understand it. Oh, yes, Lord. Y'all are both sire. So as soon as you see it, that word soon. Are y'all okay out there? Are you okay? Are y'all okay? It's all well? Glory to God on both sides. And I just heard the Holy Ghost say, many people are afraid of you because you can see like that. Because your eyes have been opened to that place in, in God. In God. So people, yes, Lord. A lot of people ain't afraid of no prophets because they ain't doing them a hidden surface because they can't see. They can't see. They cannot see into the mind of God. Is anybody listening? Not nah, God from Zion. Yes, Lord. I said they can't see into the mind of God. Mind, thoughts, understanding. Come on, y'all. Get it. Put it all together. Ooh, and then we got to have throw cloths over a house. Come on now. And then we have a problem that God has taken somebody back in your past life of 10 years, 20 years, 25 years to shut doors that you didn't even know was open. Come on now. Come on now. And then go into the future, the future, come on, of the mind of God, the future of the mind of God. Amen. Eyes of understanding being open and bring it to what? To the now. Come on, y'all. Come on. So that word soon, that word soon means this. In, as soon as you see it, that word soon means in or after a short time, which means God said, get ready. Because I'm getting ready to open up your eyes. I'm taking the scales off of your eyes. You're about to see. He told us this. He informed us this at the beginning of the consecration. That he's get, he has invited us into a place in him that everybody don't get the invitation. Are you hearing me? And I'm not talking about the veil. We know the veil has been rent from the bottom up. And we have the right through Jesus Christ to come to the Lord. But there's a place in in God that you have to have an invitation to. And if you don't believe that, go ahead and listen to first, uh, uh, first day and the second day because scriptures are back me up. Is anybody listening or did everybody go home? <laughs> All right. So that word soon means in or after a short time. Shortly, Sykes. 
shortly. Are you hearing me? It being so cool, see. D. Jackson, you said you needed this. Blessing, amen, to God be all the glory, precious, amen. Soon, that means in or after a short time or shortly, watch this, or presently. That means something God is about to reveal to you in the realm of the spirit. Yeah, but I see by taking the scales off of our eyes, because that's what happened to Saul, which name was turned to Paul. Hit the scales fell off of his eyes. Are you hearing me? Not so he can see like he used to see. Because he said, when did I kick against the pricks? Are you hearing me? So he has to see in a rim the thought of God. Okay. Go to Joshua 3. Go to Joshua 3. Because as soon as you see it, go to Joshua 3. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Yes, Lord. And I heard the Holy Ghost say, because this is what we're also going to talk about. Glory to God. They just trying to be a wonder. It's God. That's a wonder of God. So when people say, oh, they just trying to be a wonder. They're saying right, but they have no understanding of what they said. They trying to say it in a sarcastic way, yeah. mm -hmm. but not knowing that they just spoke right. Because it's the wonder of God. Are you hearing me? But they don't understand what they said. But they thought they were saying it in a sarcastic way. But it is the wonder of God. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Woo, go to Joshua 3 and 5, precious. Y'all better not lay down what God has opened your eyes to in the rim of the spirit and what God has called you to. Glory to God. You don't want to be like everybody else. And all you can see, amen, is what's in front of you. And you prophesy according to that because you don't have no understanding, amen, to see, amen, in the rim of the spirit where the Lord our God thought lodges at because the thoughts that I have toward you they are good and not of evil and to give you what and expect it and the thoughts hello <laughs> Ooh, yes Jesus y'all okay out there yes Joshua 3 and 5 y'all okay the Bible decrees the word of God to be so and Joshua said unto the people sanctify yourselves for tomorrow tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you Tomorrow, the Lord will do wonders among you as soon as you see it. Don't shut me down. The, tomorrow, the Lord will do wonders. Uh, is anybody listening? And you can take it for tomorrow, the seventh day, if you want to, or you can take it, glory to God, and the next few minutes afterwards is your tomorrow. Is anybody listening? But however, you need to posture yourself because God is getting ready to do wonders. Why? Because we have been what? Sanctified and consecrating ourselves. And because we've been sanctified and consecrating ourselves, glory to God, God is about to do wonders. Watch this among us. And that's why the Lord said, glory to God, as soon as you see it, uh huh, as soon as the scale come off of your eyes and you have the eyes of understanding. Are you hearing me? Seeing in the rim of the spirit. Seeing the thoughts of God. Y'all not saying that. that I'm shy. In other words, people will say, how do you know that? Yep. Mm -hmm. come on, how come do on. you oh. know that? And I'm not talking about some, some witch can know. And I'm not talking about some, some what's other, that other stuff? What is some other people? Glory to God. They know. Them warlocks and stuff. Yeah, all that. Come here, Pastor. I'm talking about something, glory to God, that was revealed by God from his thought. Are y'all hearing me? Right I don't want you all, glory to God, that is listening, amen, to fall back into this carnal state. Stand up. Because according to Ezekiel, the army, my great army, I'm going to put my spirit in and they're going to stand up. Don't fall back into this carnal state and be comfortable in Zion. Are you hearing me? And don't be so thirsting at the prophetic prophecy when you need to go see in the rim of the spirit yourself. Hello. Oh, y'all not saying nothing. You may not call you a prophet. You may not walk in the office of a prophet, but still, glory to God, he will. He will. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Prophet Mixon. No psychics. Thank you. Hello. Come on, y'all. We're doing too much. We're getting caught up. We're getting lost. And we're not understanding. And we're being tossed to and fro with every wave of every doctrine. That which means every type of teaching. That's what doctrine is. Teaching. You better. Ooh. That's what doctrine means. All type of teaching. You better come out here. And we just, we on, just, we just moving with it. We don't understand the truth. It's the truth that's going to set us free. 
Are you hearing me? Are y'all okay? So it says, Joshua 3 and 5 says, sanctify yourself. Anytime there's a consecration going on in your life and God has called you to a consecration, amen, and to sanctify yourself, that means God is about to do wonders among you. Are you hearing me? And the wonders among you is dealing in the rim of, that's right, no medium. Y'all better come on and call it out. Call it out. Come on here. Glory to God. He's going to do wonders from the rim of the spirit. Watch this. Here it is. The Bible makes it plain. And you could go back to the teachings of the other days that Moses, glory to God, and the children of Israel, as Moses went up, they saw the smoke and they saw the fire. Are you hearing me? Glory to God. On top of Mount Sinai. Y'all not saying nothing. That was a wonder. No, it was just smoke. And see, there you go. You, there you go. You don't have no understanding. That was God. That means God is going to do wonders among you and those that don't have the insight where the scales have not been taken off, that's the response they're going to have. Oh, that's just that. And not understanding, no pressure. That's not just that. That is God. Hello. Thank you, Jesus. My God from Zion. I was that word wonder, it means things which appear to be supernatural. Something miraculous is going on. Are you hearing me? Glory to God. And many people are not going to go into that rim because they don't want to be sold out to that place. Are you hearing me? They constantly got to be in control. They constantly got to know which way they going. They constantly got to know. Glory to God. But if God say go right, you go right and just do what God said without any question. As long as you know it's God. Is anybody listening? Did everybody go home? This is not for a selective few, though a selective few has it. It is because, glory to God, the selective few that has it, amen, has yielded themselves to God in that magnitude. My people, Shonda. Glory to God. As soon as you see it, he told them Joshua is now in the place or in the stead of Moses. And he said, God says to, to Joshua, tell them to sanctify themselves. Tell them to sanctify themselves, Sykes. For tomorrow, the Lord will do wonders among you. The Lord will do wonders among you. Now, I got to, let me keep my time. I got to keep my time. Here it is. Rahab says it like this. When the two the spies came, Rahab says to the two spies, well, we heard about your God. <laughs> we ain't see it, but we heard. Y'all not saying that. So if Rahab and them heard, then somebody that have insight had to see it. Are y'all understand? Rahab said, we heard. Come on, because I'm going somewhere. We heard what your God did. Amen. To the different nations that came up against y'all. And we heard. So therefore, we have fortified our, our community. We have fortified our place so y'all can't come in. <laughs> Woo! So for anybody to hear what God has done, somebody had to see first. By Shonda, okay, okay. Y'all want me Revelation, John the Revelator, come up here. That I need to show you what's gonna happen hereafter. Come on. So before it happened in the earth rim, somebody had to see it in the rim of the thought of God. So when Rahab said, "We heard what y'all God did, and we are fearful. Come on, we are melting, and we're we're, we're trying to make sure that y'all can't enter in. We know it ain't got nothing to do with y'all. It's y'all God that y'all have, but somebody had to have insight. Are you hearing me? Because watch this. They heard about what God did when Moses was on scene, and Moses had insight with God." Mm. Moses had insight with God. Are you hearing me? So what Rahab was talking about was what all that God did through the leadership of Moses. Because Joshua was now coming in, glory to God, glory to God, off of what Moses did to take the people into the Canaan land. But what, amen, Rahab was talking about was all that God did through Moses because Moses had insight. 
Though Moses couldn't talk, he said at one time, I, I don't have well, amen, speech. And God said, do not talk about what, amen, you don't have, amen, to get the job done. Amen. Call forth Aaron and Aaron will speak on your behalf, but you will have the insight. You will know the thought. Come up hither with me and let me show you my thoughts. Ha! Wow. Woo! And you did not hear or see in the text or in the story, amen, of Moses' life that he said anything about his speech anymore. No. No. My God. Are y'all okay? Go to John 17. So what is going to happen? There's going to be what? Wonders among us. This is the sixth day. Yes, Lord. Mm. They have more words and insight than some <laughs> Prophetess, prophetess Dick Mixon. <laughs> she talking right, God, I thank you. Glory to God from Zion, hallelujah. Go to John 17, amen, John 17, amen. She talking right, amen, somebody. John 17, glory to God, hallelujah, John 17 and verse 17. Now over here in Joshua 3 and 5, what did he say he's going to do? He's going to do what? Wonders among us, which mean uh, the only way you can see anything in the realm of the spirit, you have to have insight. My God, God has to take the scales off of our eyes. Are you hearing me? Watch this, John 17 and 17. Sanctify them, watch this, through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Sanctify them through truth. Thy word is truth. So how does one begin to be sanctified? Through the word of God. And just because you read the word of God and just because you study the word of God don't mean you believe it to that totality. Are you hearing me? You and I have to ask God to help us to believe because there's one part of the scripture. It says that I believe help my what? My unbelief. Glory to God. But we are being sanctified or separated through the word of God. Are you hearing me? It's bringing us into a place in God. And if God said it, like I have forestated, amen, a uh, time and time again, that when I came into the Lord, when I came into holiness and I grabbed the Bible and I, and I lifted up and I said, I don't know what's in this Bible. That's what I did. I lifted up and said, I don't know what's in this Bible. But before I read anything, I already believe. That's what I said. And I stand by that today, just like I said the first day. What all is in this word, all in this Bible, that God has sent a revelation because you can read the word and never have revelation. Revelation is revealing glory to God. Watch this. Watch this. Sites is revealing of God. It is a revealing of God. And if God don't reveal himself to us, then we will not know in that type of magnitude. Is anybody listening or did everybody go home? So I lift that Bible up, amen, as God was bringing me into holiness. And I said, I don't know what's in this, in this Bible, but whatever's in this Bible, I believe. I'm not going to fight against it. Come on, y'all. I spoke it. I stand by it. In 2018, I still stand by it. I'm not going to fight with people about the word. If you haven't experienced God in that type of, amen, in that type of realm, then that has nothing to do with me. It should have glory to God stirred you up and said what? There's a place in God that I can experience like that and then you should have left the presence of that person or myself and went and said God God I want that place because what was happening was God was giving you a taste. He was trying to give you a taste is anybody listening? Mm -hmm. He was trying to give you a taste of it yeah. so you could get the taste and then come to him and then he could fulfill what? the entire taste of it. What Is anybody say? listening? What but say? instead of understanding what God was doing, was bringing it, amen, before you because that's what he wanted for you. Glory to God. You ran the other way. You talked about something God was trying to present to you from the rim of the spirit to go higher. But instead of you receiving it and running after God and say, God, what is this? God, is it your will that I have it? Come on here. Did I lodge it in my spirit? Glory to God. You ran the other way and talked about something against something God wanted to give to you. That's how God operates. Glory to God. Y'all not saying nothing. Amen, somebody. Glory to God. Go to Daniel. So what sanctification comes through the word of God? It sanctifies us. Are you hearing me? He's going to do wonders among us. This is the sixth day. Watch this. As soon as you see it, as soon as you see it, 
All right, go to Daniel. You okay over there? You Daniel are, chapter you, 11. You, you Daniel chapter 11. Let's go to Daniel chapter you 11. Right there. there we go. Daniel chapter 11. Are y'all okay out there? Yes, Daniel chapter right 11. There. Glory to God. So they can holler all the love. Is she serious? Is she real? I don't, this ain't God. That's why sometimes they call you the witch when you're not the witch. That's why sometimes they call you, amen, bells above, and you're not. It's because they don't have no insight. Are you hearing me? And when they can't understand and can't define it, amen, in their, glory to God, definition book, they'll label you something of the opposite of God when reality is you are of God. They just don't understand it. And so don't allow people that call you them type of things get you off of course are you hearing me as long as you know you ain't practicing that crazy stuff and that you are doing crazy stuff are you hearing me glory to god but you getting what you're getting from the authentic mind of god y'all not saying nothing then you don't have to prove a point to that person or persons why because they don't even understand if they knew who jesus was they wouldn't have called him bells above <laughs> Come on here. They did not have insight. They did not have understanding. The skills of their eyes was closed to that realm. So do not allow people to cause you to deviate from that that God has called you to and to do because they're sitting here calling you all type of other names when that's not you. Are you hearing me? Glory to God. I know you ain't going to go over there because she's going to put a spell. Spell what? <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Come on, just because God has caused a person to be able to see, amen, into the rim of the thought of God, what God wants to do for them and to bring them out and then to show them this is where the root of the problem is at. Come on, y'all, because it's not just sickness. It's more to it than just sickness. How did that sickness start? Where did it come from? What door was open that now, my God, the spirit of cancer is running rapid in our family. Let's do this. Let's go there. We need to understand that. How about Shana? So they can talk until their tongue fall out about Apostle. Or let me slide that over about Vanessa Jackson. Because I'm going to stay in the face of God. And that I'm Shia. And God is going to keep speaking to me from his thought. Are you hearing me? And I'm going to keep saying what he tell me to say. Is anybody listening? Glory to God. Shia. I got a, I got some people on here know what I'm talking about. Glory to God. They understand what I'm talking about. And they are saying, yep, you are right. Because why? Because they know that's where they're at too. There's not. It's just a remnant. God has a remnant because a lot of people does not want to be sold out to that place. They don't want to sell out to that place. They got to give up a whole lot of stuff. Is anybody listening? Did everybody go home? It doesn't bother me and it shouldn't bother you. Are you hearing me? And half them people that's talking, they're Nicodemuses and they come by night. Ow! Many Ooh! people, they call me Ooh. on the phone. People don't even know it. They message me. Come on here because they don't want nobody to know. Glory to God that I'm literally talking to Apostle Jackson to ask her, glory to God, to pray with me. Do she see anything? Come on here, somebody. Y'all not saying nothing. That both sides. And when I look at the people and see their name come up, I'll be like, God, look at this. My God, they come like Nicodemus. They come at night. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Y'all ain't saying nothing. And guess what? I do what thus said the Lord. Glory to God and say, yes, baby. Go on, precious. Amen. And go on about my business. And if anybody find out because they talking, but you ain't got to worry because they not going to talk because they don't want nobody to know. Glory to God that they got, amen, some in, in information of insight of God about their life. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Glory to God. Everybody shut down. I got to go. Amen. I wish you would drive this. Ooh. Drive it up. Yes, yeah, Chanel, girl. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. I bet you they'll call you when they need the water, the, the, the sea divided. I bet you they'll call you then. Come on here. Come on, somebody. I bet you when they want you to speak to the elements and things begin to happen, they'll call you. But they'll come by night. The Nicodemus, they'll come by night. Come on here. Y'all going to be all right. Come on. Go to Daniel 1132. Amen. So that stuff don't move me. Amen. At the beginning of this, it used to move me and say, God, that ain't me. You know, Lord, I don't even do that stuff. I ain't even do that stuff in the world. I ain't do no tarot cards and all that crazy. I ain't do none of that stuff. Come on. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. But as I began to keep growing with God, amen, and God would keep teaching me and showing me in the word of God, God started fortifying me. Glory to God. And so that stuff don't bother me. Are you hearing me? And people that connects with that stuff, glory to God, amen, they can't see either. Because the Bible said the blind leave the blind and they both fall in the ditch so that's talking about insight that's talking about insight okay seeing so that doesn't bother me 
Are you hearing me? That doesn't bother me because if we study the word of God, all kings had a all kings had a priest and a prophet. So I'm not, you know, it, you know, uh uh. Yes, Lord. Mm hmm. Tell your neighbor. Tell your neighbor. Glory to God. Some people need you in their life because they can't see. They can't see. All kings, all kings, I don't care if they had a false one, they all had prophets. All kings, they had priests and prophets. Are you hearing me? Glory to God. Because though the king, amen, was walking in authority, the king could not see, glory to God, in that type of realm. Are you hearing me? <laughs> well, please, I got to stay over here because I've been all over there in the word of God. Come on here, somebody. So don't let that stuff bother you. Don't let that stuff move you. Glory to God. You got to keep seeing. Amen. You got to keep knowing the thought. Amen. Of God. Amen. He's going to reveal his thought. Are you hearing me? Glory to God. Okay, I got to move on because the Holy Ghost is talking. Are you hearing me? Shia, ba 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 Shia. Glory to God. And I'm gonna see John, uh, Daniel, Daniel eleven thirty two. Daniel eleven thirty two. There's gonna be wonders. There's gonna be wonders done among you. God is getting ready to cause some things to be done. My God, and as soon as you see it, as soon that word soon is what in or after or short time, shortly. Come on, he presently. Daniel chapter eleven thirty two. Come on, y'all, let's go. As such as do wickedly against the uh, covenant, shall he corrupt by flatteries. But the people that do know, do know, not not know, not know, not know scriptures. That's that's not what he's talking about. Many people know the scriptures. Hold on. But the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. Because if that be the case, all of us, and, and, and Prophetess Nixon made it plain, glory to God. <laughs> Rahab knew more than those of the saints. Then surely... He could not just be talking about the scriptures of the, the, the word in the Bible. Only. Are you hearing me? He has to be talking about to know God. To know God. God has to reveal himself. And whom God has revealed himself to, they're going to be doing exploits. Y'all not saying nothing. And I'm not telling you not to read your word. I'm telling you to read your word from a different rim, from a different perspective. Are you hearing me? Read from a different eyelid, the eyes of God. Because them that know their God, oh, I know God, I know God. No, 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 no. Do you really know God? Has he revealed himself to you in that rim? Come on. To them that know their God, they are going to be the ones that do, amen, great exploits. Y'all yes, ain't saying nothing. Y'all yes, ain't saying nothing. They pass your yes, bo -bo -bo -shire. Hallelujah. Shire. Many people are opening up the Bible. Many people are reading the scriptures. Prophetess Clayton, am I talking? Many people are opening up the Bible. Many people are reading the scriptures, but many people don't know God. So how can one that don't know God do great exploits? Lord, I'm about to fall out. Come on, somebody. That's the only way that great exploits can be done. And we say and repeat a lot of scriptures and don't have the understanding because our eyes have not been opened to that rim. If God has revealed himself to us, glory to God, then we will do great exploits. Is anybody listening? Oh, my God. We will begin to do the bold act. Why? Because we know God will have our back because he revealed his thoughts to us in that realm. Are you hearing me? So, 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 so you got to understand to them that know that God, that he's revealed to them in that realm, that they have the eyes of understanding from that realm, from that thought of God. Oh my God, they will do the great expo. They will do the bold acts. Are you hearing me? And people will come up against them and they don't even care. Because why? God revealed himself to them, amen, from his thoughts. 
I know the thoughts, I know the thoughts, I know the thoughts, I know the thoughts that I have towards you. Come on, come on. Let there be light. That was the thought of God. And the light was so. That was the thought of God. Are you hearing me? I only have a few minutes. I really can't break it down like I want to. But you got to understand. Amen. I thank God for these seven days of consecration. I thank God this is the sixth day. Glory to God. He said, as soon as you see it, as soon as I reveal it to you, as soon as I allow you to come into my mind and see my thoughts about it, then you would do because you know me. And you would do what? Great exploits. You will be bold about what you're going to do on behalf of God. You will not be shaken in your boots. You will not go inquire of man. And when I say man, that could be your girlfriend. Come on here, your prayer partner. That's what I'm talking about. Glory to God. Harabo Shanda. Oh my God. Glory to God. Go to Exodus 34 and 10. Are y'all okay? I'm good. You okay? I'm good. Because you wasn't there. Exodus 34 and 10. You wasn't there. It says, Exodus 34 and 10. And he said, Behold, I make a covenant before all my people, or all, all thy people. I will do marvels such as not been done in all the earth. Are you hearing the Lord? Nor in any nation. And all the people among my God, among which thou art, shall see the work of the Lord. For it is a terrible, and that word terrible is awesome. It is a terrible thing that I would do with thee. There's an awesome thing God is going to do with you. You have to be encouraged that we've been on this journey of a seven-day consecration, and we are on the sixth day. You have to understand God said he is bringing a covenant today with us. And he said, behold, I make a covenant before all thy people. I will do marvels such have not been done in all the earth. Is anybody listening? Did everybody go home? And so God wants to use you. Are you hearing me? And so for that reason, as soon as you see, as soon as you can have the eyes of understanding of what God is revealing, he wants to use you in the earth. Yes, Lord Jesus. Maybe I was hollering too much. You you Nor in any nation, and all the people among you which thou art shall see the work of the Lord. The work of the Lord. For it is a terrible thing that I will do with thee. It is a terrible thing I will do. There's an awesome thing that I will do with you. It's going to be awesome. Are you hearing me? And people that don't have the eyes of understanding is going to question it. They're going to see the work of God. Are you hearing me? From what God revealed to you that he's going to do among you. But people shall see the work. Are you hearing me? And just because they see the work, they still may not understand it to that totality of what has been revealed to you. But as soon as you see it, are you understanding? As soon as you see it, you're going to do great exploits. God is making a covenant with us today and to let us know that I'm going to do something so awesome. And here it says, the word says terrible, but it means awesome. I'm going to do something so awesome with you that people shall see the work of the Lord. Are you hearing me? My God from Zion, I got to go, y'all. Amen. I got to go. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Go to Deuteronomy 10, 28. Or Deuteronomy 10, 21. Deuteronomy 10, 21. Here we go. He is thy praise, and he is thy God that hath done for thee these great and terrible, again, awesome things, which thine eyes have seen. As soon as you see it, let me read that again. Verse 21 of Deuteronomy chapter 10. Thy, uh, 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 he is thy praise, and he is thy God 
that have done for thee these great and terrible things which thine eyes have seen. Are y'all seeing that? Are y'all getting that? As soon as you see it. My God, the Zion. As I close out of here today on the sixth day, the Lord said he's going to open our eyes. He's going to take scales off our eyes. Because he's taking us into another place or another realm or another dimension in his thoughts. He's going to reveal himself greater to us and to them that know God and to them that know God and to them that God has revealed himself to. They will be the ones that will do great exploits. They will be the ones. That will be at their their acts will be bold. Lord, give us more boldly, uh, more boldness in the word of God. That's what it says in the book of Acts. Give us more boldness in the word of God. He's going to reveal himself in a greater way. He's going to reveal his thoughts in a greater way unto us. And the Lord said, Do not hold back. Do not be afraid. Come on here, Jeremiah. Don't be afraid of their faces. Come on here. Glory to God, because I'm going to send you to those, amen, that will have a, a, a stiff neck, amen, hard head. Is anybody listening? But don't you get caught up in their faces. Speak what I tell you to speak and watch what I do, for they shall see my works, said the Lord. As I close, go back to Joshua chapter 3 where we started. Go back to Joshua 3 where we started. And put this all together. Are you encouraged today? Joshua chapter 3. As we begin to close on the sixth day, the Bible says it like this. Joshua 3, verse 8. Go to verse 3. And they commanded the people, saying, When you see the ark of the covenant of the Lord. We started off with what? The ark of the covenant of the Lord. The presence of the Lord. That was day one and two. Look how God is bringing all things together. And they commanded the people, saying, When you see, as soon as you see it, when you see the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, your God, and the priests, the Levites, bearing it, then you shall remove from your place and go after it. What have we been doing for these last six days? Going after God. Because why? We are seeing God. He's revealing himself. He's revealing his thoughts to us. So we're going after God. Go to verse 8. And thou shalt command the priests that bear the Ark of the Covenant, said when you are come to the brink of the water of Jordan ye shall stand still in it Jordan means this sight Jordan means spiritual vision and spiritual insight y'all not saying nothing because when Elijah glory to God amen Elisha was following Elijah glory to God the last place that they went to was Jordan yeah and he began to talk, amen, Elijah began to talk to Elisha and say, what do you want from me? Because they was at Jordan and he said, I want a double portion of your spirit. He didn't say a double portion of God's spirit. He said a double portion of your spirit and how you operate. Come on, somebody. And this is what Elijah said to Elisha. If you see, <laughs> if you see me go up. You ask a hard thing, but if you see me, not just in the natural, but if you see, have insight and revelation, understanding of what you see. He said, my father, my father, the chariot of fire. But Elijah never spoke to him because he already told him, if you see it, are you hearing me? God is a good God, my God, my God. And here we go. Joshua is now taking the people and the priests, the Levites, had the Ark of the Covenant, which is the presence of God. It's what we were running after, which was the presence of God. Is anybody listening? Glory to God. And said, when you put your foot into the brink of the water of Jordan, amen, the insight began to come. Stand still. Stay in that position. Do not move from that position. Is anybody listening? Or did everybody go home while I run up out of here. Go to verse 10. 
And Joshua said, Hereby ye shall know that the living God is among you. And that he will without fail drive out from before you the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Hivites, the Hivites, the Perizzites, the Gergesites, and the Amorites, the Jebusites. That's all from the work of the past that's trying to come in and stop your present and from you going to the future. It's dealing with all parts of your life. All these ites are dealing with all parts of your life and they come from the past and they're trying to come to the present to stop us from going into the future. Is anybody listening? But you got to understand, don't you see in the text, don't you see in the scripture, it's talking about insight. And when you know your God, you shall do great exploits. Go to verse 13. And it shall come to pass as soon as the souls of the feast of the priests that bear the ark of the Lord. As soon as you step into this realm. As soon as you step in. As soon as you step into it. As soon as you step into it. And don't leave it for nobody. As soon as you step into it. The Lord of all the earth sight shall rest in the waters of Jordan. The Lord is going to rest in you, in that place. That the waters of Jordan shall be cut off from the waters that come down from above, and they shall stand people on heat. This is a repeat of what God did with Moses and the children of Israel crossing the Red Sea, but he had to have insight. He didn't just get and stand up there and look. He had to have insight and to see it already done. And he had to have insight from the thought and the mind of God in order to do it. That's why we have to have the mind of Christ. Are you hearing me? Glory to God. Go to verse 15. Verse 15 says it like this. And as they bear the ark, were come unto Jordan. And the feet of the priests that bear the ark were dipped in the brim of the water. For Jordan overflowed all his banks all the time of harvest. When I saw that again and read it again, God said, tell my people this is going to happen in their harvest time. <laughs> Which means it's not an ongoing and offgoing. Wow. Because it said a flow. You shall come to a land flowing with milk and honey. This will not be a hit and miss. And this will not be every other day, every other month, every other week, every other year. No, this is supposed to happen for us all the time. Because why? We are running after God. We are chasing after God. We want God more than we want anything, anybody or any place. And God said, because you all came after me and afflicted yourself and you wanted me and you wanted me to get rid of all that, oh my God, that corrupt and gross stuff that was separating you from where we were going. I have done it, said the Lord. And now I'm telling you, if you see it, as soon as you see it, is anybody listening? And the word in the text is Joshua chapter 3 and told the people, as soon as you see it, don't mean everybody going to see it at the same time. But as soon as you see it, see the priest that got the presence of the Lord on them, they step into the Jordan and Jordan represents or symbolic of spiritual insight or spiritual vision. Is anybody listening? Glory to God. And this is when it happens, it happens according to the time of harvest. Last verse. Verse 17. And the priest that bear the ark of the covenant of the Lord stood firm, didn't shake, wasn't twixt in between, was not double-minded. They were firm. Firm on dry ground in the midst of Jordan. And all the Israelites passed over on the dry ground until all the people were passed clean over Jordan. So what is it saying to us? God is about to do great exploits. He's about to do wonders among us. And there are other people that's going to be connected because why? It says that the Israelites can be go clean over which means when you see something in the realm of the spirit that God has revealed his thought to you, 
and God tells you to begin to speak it because there are wonders that are about to happen and they shall see the work of the Lord. They are going to glory to God, run to the God in you and you are to lead them across to the other side of Jesus Christ. That's why Jesus says to the disciples, let us go to the other side. Let us go to the place, glory to God, where there's life and that more abundantly. Let's go to the other side where there's healing. Let's go to the other side where there's peace that surpass all understanding. Let's go to the other side where there is abundance and wisdom and knowledge in the Lord. Let's go to the other side. Is anybody listening? Did everybody yes. go home? Yes. Well, beloved, I have stopped by to encourage everybody this morning. I pray and I believe that God has dealt with all of us. And as we, as a family, as a unit, all around the world, came back to say thank you, the Lord said, as soon as you see it, as soon as it is revealed to you, my God, the Lord is going to do wonders among us. And to them that know their God, the Lord said, you are the one that will do great exploits. You will be bold about the act. You will not be timid. You will not be insecure, but you will be confident. You'll be confident in God because some people are mixing confident and pride up. Confident is I'm confident in God. Confident in what he said and in confident what he's going to do is totally different than pride. Because pride is, I can do it. I can make it happen. I, I, I. But confidence is, I'm confident in somebody. And that somebody is God. And God's word does not fall to the ground. God watches over his word to perform it. He's going to do wonders in the lives of the people. He's going to do wonders among you. He wants to use you because you have consecrated yourself. And we are going into the seventh day. Glory to God, which is tomorrow. I say to you, don't bag up. I say to you, don't throw in the towel. I say to you, don't allow people, amen, to come into your atmosphere, into your surroundings, and to try to make you confused about what God is doing with you and for you. Because you know what God is saying, and you understand what God is saying, and you have seen what God has done before, and he shall do it again. And where there are other people that do not believe and do not understand that, glory to God, you cannot sit here and my God speak until you have no more energy and you cannot speak until you have no more oxygen trying to cause them to believe and to see something that their eyes have never been open to. Well, beloved, I thank y'all. I see it. Yes, before we get off, it's time to take communion. I pray to you, if you have your communion, let's prepare to take it. If you don't, when you get off of here, amen, go and get you a piece of bread, a piece of cracker, amen, and get you some juice because we're about to take communion. Come on, Sykes. <laughs> Amen. We're about to take communion. Communion is communion with the Father. Amen. Glory to God. Believe in the act, the act, the wondrous act that Jesus did. Amen. At the table. Glory to God. Glory to God. We know that it was, amen, an important, valuable thing, and it's happening today. Come on, y'all. Y'all not saying nothing to a sister. Glory to God. Come on, precious. Glory to God. <laughs> amen. And so we're excited because okay. that act that Jesus did at the table. The Lord's Supper, glory to God, is now still going on in 2017 and still will go on in 2018 and still will go on until the coming of the Lord. Why? Because that was a wondrous act. Y'all not saying nothing. And Jesus, who was all God and who was all human at the same time, his human side, glory to God, had to shut down while his divinity side understood that my body shall be broken. Glory to God. So as you take of the bread or of the cracker, amen, and I always tell my children is to break it. Because Jesus said, according to, amen, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, my body was broken. Glory to God, that you and myself can walk in the wholeness and the healing of God. And so for that reason, if you've been broken in any area of your life, spiritually, mentally, physically, financially, or emotionally, 
the Lord Jesus Christ said, my body was broken, that you can walk in the wholeness, that you can walk in healing of that very thing. Because it's not enough to just be healed. We have to be whole. And so, Lord, we thank you, Lord God. And as we begin to lift it up, that you are blessed, O oh God. And according to your word, O oh God, we thank you, Lord God. We take of the bread, which is the bread of life. Amen. And we believe that Jesus Christ is the bread of life, which is the word of God. Amen. And that the word of God sanctifies us. Glory to God. And bring us to that place. Amen. Where we was broken, we are now, amen, healed and walking in wholeness. In Jesus' name, let us commune together. Likewise, he says, amen, in that same book, he says, as often as you do it, this is the New Testament. This is the new covenant. Amen. Glory to God. That as often as you do it, do it in remembrance. Are you hearing me? And likewise, the Bible says he takes of the blood. Amen. And in the blood is life, healing, deliverance, breakthrough, and salvation. So as you take of it, and there will be no, no there will be no weakness among us. There'll be no sickness among us. So as we take it, we're believing that in the blood, the blood of Jesus, there is healing, there is deliverance, there is breakthrough. Is anybody listening? And so, Father, we thank you. Glory to God. As we take of the blood of Jesus, glory to God. If there's any sickness, any disease, any infirmity in our bodies, in our finances, in our, in my, our minds, our emotions, in our spirit, man, glory to God, it shall be healed. In Jesus' name, let us drink. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And it is so. And it is so. It says. It says in the word of God as often. If, 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 if as often to you is once a month, then you cool. But if, if as often is to me, as often as God unction me to do it, don't knock me. I'm not knocking you one time. Don't you knock how many times I do it. Because I'm in the scripture just like you. Because it told me as often as I do it, do it in remembrance of the wondrous act that Jesus did for us on that day. Are you hearing me? So as we first stated, this is the sixth day of the seventh day of consecration. As soon as you see it, we came from Joshua chapter 3 verse 5. John chapter 17 verse 17. Daniel chapter 11 verse 32. My God. Exodus 34 and 10, Deuteronomy 10, 21, and of course, Joshua chapter 3, verse, verse 3, verse 8, verse 10, verse 13, verse 15, and verse 17. The Lord said he's going to do, glory to God, wonders among you and I. He's getting ready to cause our eyes to be opened in a different dimension of him. His thoughts, he's getting ready to reveal his thoughts in a higher dimension, glory to God. And so I say to you, be encouraged. And as we begin to, amen, come up out of this day and go into the seventh day, you keep looking to God. You keep holding fast to God. Don't forget 6 p.m. tonight. It's truly up to you if you go into prayer by yourself or you gather your family because I have doing it, been doing it for six days, well, five days, six days tonight. Amen. That we will be praying together. Glory to God. And until next time, as we say it, you go with God and guess what? God, he'll go with you. So may the blessings of the Lord make you rich and add no sorrow. Don't forget one healthy meal. You to drink water and 100% juice. Glory to God. God is a good God. Until next time. Blessings.